Okay, so look, so turning for you this morning to an uh, iconic scene. This is from the Star Wars franchise, now rising to a whole new level in Benicia. And by rising, we mean, well, we're going to allow today in the base Ginger Connor Harrisop to explain Pan Solo. And Ginger, this is all tying into the return of a popular festival. This is all very exciting because of the return of that festival. Good morning, Marcus and Laura. But uh, what I do know is that this actually technically didn't rise because commercial yeast wasn't added to it or else we wouldn't see the intricate details of Pam Solo's face. Look at his nose, his lips. He's six feet tall. It took over 100 hours to make and three months of planning, as you can uh, imagine, because it's, uh, it, it is quite detailed. It's getting national attention. It's gone viral. And our guests, Catherine, and Hannah Lee Pervin are going to tell us more about how this happened. How they put this together, Hannah Lee? Uh, well, it started about three months ago. Uh, Mom chose the image. Uh, she's obsessed with Star Wars, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we picked the image, and then we started planning um, the, like the substructure and then baking that and then just layering different layers of dough on top, letting them set with a heat gun, and just really focusing on the, the face and the hands for the detail. It seems like a lot of work really goes into it, making sure that it doesn't fall apart before the festival even happens. <laughs> now, the, the, the festival, the Benicia Main Street Scarecrow Festival, is a big boost to businesses, especially after the pandemic. Yours Absolutely. included, because yeah. you guys moved all the way from Canada mm -hmm. literally just a year before the pandemic hit. Catherine? Yeah, it was, it was uh, scary. I mean, we closed everything up uh, to the public in March of that year, and... Uh, it uh, had to pivot hard. We had to change the way we did business. And, and so things like the Benicia uh, Main Street uh, Scarecrow Contest and all the other wonderful festivals they do really gives a boost, gets people down here. And, you know, it's a real good family atmosphere. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. There's a lot to check out. I know Mark Hamill has tweeted yeah. about, uh, <laughs> about, I think that's a nice boost yeah, also. Yeah. The national attention, the oh, viral attention that it's amazing. gotten. Yeah. I think that's going to be great for the businesses. And there's also, so part of that festival is the People's Choice Ballot that I'm told is due on the 23rd. You can choose your three top choices. Yep. Uh, you know, it's bragging rights for the Benicia bragging downtown rights. businesses, mm -hmm. so check that out. Pan Solo will be around till after Halloween, but I'm told that if you don't make it pa uh, before Halloween and partake in all the Halloween festivities, that you should come by and check out some sticky toffee pudding. pudding. <laughs> sticky oh, toffee pudding, oh, yeah. that's a mm -hmm. Canadian British <laughs> specialty. And this is a little something, uh, I know you guys were talking about it at five. This is what um, Pan Solo is made out of. Um, it's hard. It's pretty rock hard. I'm told you can eat it, but it's not. <laughs> you don't want to. I don't know. It's going to go well with your coffee, Mike. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't, right, Laura? <laughs> but maybe I'll send this back your way, guys. Oh, or some sticky you toffee. Want oh, you want to send that <laughs> back to us, but we don't get the shirt from the game. Well, what about that sticky toffee thing you were talking about? That sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> now I owe you guys. There's a shirt from the game, the sticky toffee pudding. All and your you guys are getting this, this week. <laughs> Where are we going to send you tomorrow? This is great. <laughs> well, champagne factory or something. <laughs> May I suggest their next project is the Benicia Bridge? Oh. Oh. No. oh, they're saying the next project be the Benicia Bridge. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Watch, they're oh, going to do that. You heard it first. That was a polite laugh, Mike. That's fun. You're quite talented, too. That's yeah, cool. Very much so. That's neat. So you can go check it out. Uh -huh.